In general, I think that uh, a focus on national champions, uh, especially if, if it's government policy, would not be a positive development. Even for uh, the larger economies in Europe, uh, or the US for that matter, but for smaller economies, the damage could be substantial. Uh, pushing for national champions is an inherently flawed approach with an generally abysmal track record. Does anybody remember British Leyland now? That was for a fleeting moment the third, world's third largest car maker before it crashed and burned. The only reasonably successful case of this in Europe is Airbus, as Pierre pointed out. But that does not seem like a good model for other industries for, for many reasons. For small economies, such a move would either leave them shut out of important markets or force them to build their own national champions operating at highly inefficient scale. Uh, competition authorities in both US and Europe in general have the tools to fight this development, but the danger is that political pressure thwarts their use. This pressure can be brought about in particular by lobbying by the corporate sector, but also due to support for ideological reasons, both on the right and the left end of the political spectrum. And then the fight is complicated, uh, especially if competition authorities in one region try to rein in abuse by national champions from other regions or open up markets where they have a dominant position. This could, for example, include the EU taking on US-based internet giants or the US government taking on Chinese industrial giants with strong ties to the Chinese government. The politics involved are daunting and complicate resolving the economic and legal issues. Uh, but so, uh, and but this issue is not going away. We're going to be dealing with pressure to create national giants probably uh, pretty much forever.